All right, I have no idea who we're doing next. What zodiac sign do we need to do next, guys? This will be for your sun, moon, or rising for the new moon phase. Oh, the time is ripe for seeking new opportunities. Do I have the wrong deck? I have the wrong deck. Blue moon, full moon, boom, shuffle, knock a moon. Hold one moment, please. Let's try this again. What deck, what zodiac sign is next? This is for your sun, moon, or rising. Keep in mind it could pertain to your past, your present, your potential near future. Not only talking about you, but people's situations going on around you. Feel free to switch the energy where needed. And it is a general read. So, Gemini. Stress may be an issue during this time. I am so sorry, Gemini. Stress evil situations. Let's see. We're going to go with the... I forgot where I was going with that, <clears throat> but we did have certain decks that I'm using for the zodiac signs, but we'll go ahead and just get your spirit animal oracle out here. For Gemini, 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 Sun, Moon, or Rising, the shark wanted to flip over. Trust your instincts to discern the truth of the situation. Stress may be is an issue, so the truth of a situation could be really stressing you out maybe I feel like I see somebody sweating like they don't know whether they should say something maybe if you say something it'll get somebody in trouble potentially stop complaining and focus your attention on the blessings in your life with platypus so it's for the higher good though it'll help if you do speak the truth okay we have spider on the bottom trust this creative spark you're feeling and express it through writing stories that inspire and enlighten and then we have the Wolverine. Crikey. You're a lot of you're a lot tougher than you think you are, okay? So maybe you are not one to make waves, Gemini. Maybe you are I heard keep the peace. He's like to keep the peace. Okay, so you're going from this quaint little peaceful platypus to this Wolverine. Like could be getting really triggered lately too and just not knowing exactly why or what's behind it. Pay attention to those moon phases. Um, I started the read earlier and I accidentally grabbed the wrong deck and the new moon card was there, had fallen out. So, pay attention to what's going on, or what moon phases are happening with whatever's going to go on in your life, okay? The snake, you are a healer. Stop complaining and focus your attention on the blessings in your life, okay? There's something that you're going to shed. Some kind of healing that you're going through as well. Porcupine. Innocence. Free yourself of guilt and shame. You're a lot tougher than you think you are. Maybe you need to forgive yourself. Maybe you need to forgive somebody else. The squirrel on the bottom for preparation. Get ready for big changes. Adapt to the changes that are happening. So there's big changes that are going on around you. And even this truth within the situation. Whether you need to speak it, you need to acknowledge it, or you need to accept it. There's some kind of big truth that's for big, excuse me, big change that's happening for you. And Spirit is saying you're going to be fine, Gemini, okay? You are going to easily adapt to it, though it may take some adjusting. And it may take a little adjusting on your part, realizing that you're tougher than you, you think you are, okay? Because we have the porcupine. They're very prickly, right? You will overcome any obstacles. You might see any of these animals if you haven't already been seeing these after or before. Your creativity is at a peak. And we had a card here talking about creativity sparks, right? We're going to put these over here. Okay. I'm not privy to my new setup just yet. So I have to do some adjusting. The new moon phase. You might want to look up the spiritual meaning behind a new moon phase to see what happens. And see when the next new moon phase is, regardless of the time and date I mentioned in this read. These these readings and messages are timeless, okay? Okay. Not this deck yet. We're going to take this one. These are divine guidance, suggestions, messages on this one. If you're still here with me at 4.44 on the timer. And this message, I guess, is probably definitely for you. Never judge another. 
you're a lot tougher than you think you are. Maybe that was you before, that you weren't really one to judge people, and all of a sudden you're just getting really irritated by people, and maybe the seemingly stupidity <laughs> that's going on around you, okay? But don't relinquish your power. This could be you on a regular basis, too. I mean, we're human, okay? There's no judgment coming from spirit from you or me. I'm just the messenger, okay? Yeah, stay open-minded, especially around a healing situation or the idea of something that you're shedding, releasing, and healing. You could be here and having the message that you're um, healing your generational traumas, your generational karmic patterns, your generational, your lineage. Freeing that lineage of guilt and shame and remorse. Stop blaming yourself. Make each day count, okay? Tomorrow's another day, Gemini. Thoughts create your reality. Like attracts like. Give without expectation. And there could be the sense of, since we have you're a lot tougher than you think, not judging yourself as well. Maybe there's people, there's a lot of people around you who you notice are just really large complainers. Or you just haven't really been one to be complaining. And then you feel guilty and shameful when you do complain or you do judge somebody else. Don't beat yourself up. It was a brief moment in time for some of you and then you're releasing it. So it's okay. It's okay that you, you did that because it happens for a reason. You're healing some part of that. Excitement and a position of authority coming through to you. There's excitement with that truth wanting to be spread or taken out you might find yourself in a position where you have the ability to right a wrong right somebody's wrong or write a rumor for somebody speaking for someone who doesn't have the ability to speak on their own okay let's see cards for each of these spirit please and thank you also, um, I feel like they're saying stay open-minded to the information I'm giving you. Don't be so quick to get defensive in what I'm saying. And just like take a deep breath and maybe come back to it later if I've triggered you already. There's a reason behind it, okay? A meeting with a stranger could be important. Pay attention to your work. Stay open-minded. Something about a problem. Problem solving here. But also... Uh, a stranger coming into your workforce, your work environment. The fox. We had the fox while ago too. Shrewdness and resourcefulness, especially in business matters. So don't let this person get the best of you either. They could be, you know, sometimes people try to chap our ass and get the and get it or get a rile out of us on a subconscious level. They don't even realize that they're poking and prodding and pushing buttons. Sometimes they do do it intentionally, but on other parts, there's like part of their spirit has something to do with like disliking you and just wanting you to get in trouble for something. The pen, new job or career. All right, Gemini. So in another situation, there's a job or a career that ended for you, or you're finding out the truth of the matter that you're not really, I heard well liked, or you don't feel like you're well liked. And if you receive any invitations from friends or family, 838 on the timer as I say this, to go out or to go to a gathering, I would suggest taking it, okay? Because you could be meeting some a significant opportunity there. Put a pin in it. Okay, that's what's coming to mind. Put a pin in it. We don't want to talk about that anymore. So... And by relinquishing your power, I feel like maybe there's been some aspects where you just kept your mouth shut. Like, well, some things are better left unsaid. And maybe you didn't want to give your power away or take somebody else's power away from them or feel like you were taking their power away by speaking the truth or your opinion on the matter or a really good, vo you know, idea. I just hear vocalizing, essentially. So, um, throat chakra could be beneficial to you there. Clearing and cleansing it. There is celebration to come in, though. We have Red Jasper and the number four as well with Sacred Ceremony. And that's coming out also over the new job and career. So if you've been worrying about this, there is a good new job for you out there, okay? 
And this healing is coming out over soul awakening. Something within you is awakening. And sisters are guiding you at this time. We have medicine pouch there too. You could have Native American roots. Uh, past life Native American too. You could have been really, maybe you don't have roots to them or lineage to them in this lifetime. But maybe for some reason you've been really drawn to Native American and indigenous cultures or even the pyramids in Egypt. Let me get one more card here for the middle. We meet in the middle. Oh look, crystal blessing, the healing, okay? Uh, looking up whatever you're needing help with, triggers, speaking your truth, holding your tongue, not judging other people. Maybe you need help staying open-minded, grounded, centered, calm. Whatever it is, Google what crystal will help me with such and such. And as I say that, I see black tourmaline and amethyst and the red jasper, okay? Black tourmaline will help keep you protected from negative forces also. There's a cleansing care that needs to be done. But this is going to help you with freedom. Blue barite. All right, let's... I'm trying to figure out where what card I want to go to for your parting message. For like what you have to look forward to is definitely a new job, a new meeting with a stranger, okay? Stay open-minded around this meeting with a stranger as well because aesthetically they might not seem like the kind of person that you would want to even interact with, let alone make a business deal with, right? What deck do I want to go to? I'm just at a loss. Okay, I opened it and this is the first one I saw, so we're going to go with African Goddess Rising. And I'm going to take all these cards that just flew out. So we have seasons, okay? Keep in mind, things happen for a season and for a reason. Whether it's relationships, ending or beginning, or job situations, ending or beginning. There's rage here, so yeah. Desire and betrayal. So having some rage and some previous betrayals as well. Maybe you're getting, you know people are talking about you that you barely know and it's like making you very enraged, very angry. Let them know how you're feeling. Let them know that you know. Like, let them know that you've been hearing what they've been saying. Other people are in the know and they're letting you know. Could be having psychic visions on this too, but we do have the end of a tough cycle is approaching. And you and your loved ones are safe in this journey that you're taking. If it helped, if it resonated, hit that like and subscribe button for me. Do you hear the train? One, two, three, four on the timer. And the time is 646 right now where I'm at. So all those numbers I've mentioned too, you might want to look up the spiritual meaning behind it. And so is my contact information below if you'd like a more detailed personal in-depth reading along with my other social media platforms. I hope it helped and I hope it did make sense to somebody out there. Love and light.